We are learning more tonight about the man who lured police to his residence with reports of a fake break-in. Tonight, he is charged with three counts of attempted murder on a law enforcement officer following an armed SWAT standoff at his Doral apartment building. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live at the scene with the latest. Ty. Well, Rudaban Elliott, the suspect, is a former athlete who played for soccer teams here in South Florida and around the world. And we are learning today that he told police he was on drugs when he fired shots toward them right inside of this apartment building here in Doral. And tonight, he's not expected to get out of jail anytime soon. Stay I know, I know. I, I was surprised because it was being so quiet. This neighbor in Doral is still in shock nearly 24 hours after a standoff between a former soccer player and police. The state has some very serious concerns for the safety of the community, including law enforcement. 34-year-old Sergio Van Canton appeared before a Miami-Dade County okay, judge so Tuesday. First, He's facing several charges, charge? including attempted murder this of a law enforcement officer. Uh, and let me say, I, I am making a preliminary finding of probable cause. Police say Van Canton fired a shotgun at three Doral officers Monday night. It happened at the Manor City Place Doral Apartments near Northwest 87th Avenue and 36th Street. Investigators say police arrived after Van Canton called 911 claiming six people broke in his apartment. During it all, there was an hours long standoff leaving residents stranded. And I heard like, crack, crack, and I'm like, oh, that was a gunshot. Mm -hmm. So then I run to my uh, apartment. I hear one, one shot mm -hmm. and people yelling. After it was over, police say Van Canton confessed to shooting at officers lying about the break in and even firing a gun toward a Doral police patrol cruiser at the apartment building back in April. That concerns this neighbor who likes to ride his bicycle. Every week and twice a week. Today I got my day off and I ride over here and I ride over the Doral. In 2016, Miami FC described Van Canton as a high energy player and that they were lucky to have him. In a statement Tuesday, Miami FC said, in regards to the suspect in question, Sergio Van Canton appeared in one match for the Miami FC back in 2016 before being released. The Miami FC has no further comment at this time. And currently, the suspect has an open case in Broward County for DUI and possession of THC. Now, here in Miami-Dade, he's due back in bond court tomorrow morning since his attorney was not present in court today. We are live in Doral tonight. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.